Hey y'all, this is a video 10, I believe, <clears throat> and um, so today has been a long, full day. I um, got up, went to bed really late, and then got up early to drive to Salt Lake City, which is like a six and a half, seven hour drive. And then um, flew out of Salt Lake City and had a layover in Southern California. And I'm now in San Francisco area um, to go to my High Level 4 workshop, which I've talked about in my past videos. So um, I'm pretty excited. And on my drive, I was listening to a lot of Anna Kendrick. Actually, probably most of the trip, I listened to Anna Kendrick's um, Scrappy Little Nobody book. And I have to say that um, I kind of, like, I bought it as, like, a light reading. Just like, oh, this will be a nice break from, like, Byron Katie and Eckhart Tolle and all these other, like, kind of, I think f for me they're, like, heavier, deeper, I'm pausing them every 10 second type of books. And so I bought um, Anna Kendrick's as, like, a, Kind of a nice break from that. It's like a light reading, a good ha ha. Same same reason I bought Amy Schumer's. Um, and I found that there were a lot of good gems. Like a lot. I, there were times where I was like, Anna, you just described my whole life. Um, she did a really great job of like humanizing. I feel like our experience and not. Um, talking it up or talking it down, like really being authentic to her deeper self. And it actually made me start realizing that the way that I describe my experience um, could be even more authentic because that's my goal, right? My goal is to be my authentic self. And um, in hearing her, which she, so I was listening to it while I drove, so it was on Audible, and she was reading her own book, which was, um, I felt like really nice because I got a, a different experience, I feel like, than sometimes when you have somebody else read the author's book. Anyway, um, but I felt like it inspired me to really own the shit. Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like, in the moment being even more real about because I've been through so many trainings and done so much so many workshops and so much self growth type of stuff that I feel like to some degree it almost gets so saturated that there's this point where I'm like wait what's real what's not real what do I want to say but then I'm thinking about what I want to say, so then am I really being real? Like, there's just, there are these conundrums that exist that um, almost make it a weird paradigm to live in. And um, after hearing her book, I, I literally had multiple thoughts of, like, everything that I was experiencing and after that, I, I felt very... Um, real in the moment like I felt like I was just able to state the bullshit without without filtering it I guess that's what it would be so it, was, it would be like without filter so I was able to you know when I went gosh I wish I could give you a good example right now but it was just like instead of trying to be anything or trying to coax the words or do what I'm doing right now even it was like I was just able to be like hey yeah fuck it like this happened or like um or I was walking down the street and this person like looked at me and fuck them like it was sort of like this re-ownership of like my kind of natural self which is not necessarily like what I would consider my best self so I guess that's a good dichotomy for for me to dissect is that there were parts of it that kind of brought out that um, level of me that 
I don't know is aligned with my deeper self. Like, I don't know if it's aligned with my deeper self or my best self, as I've been calling it in past videos, like my best self. Um, at the same time, it is more aligned with my natural self and my trained body and my socialized person, like who I am as a person who is socialized in this world and has learned through example and learned through experience and learned from other people. Um, which I have stated to you guys before that that's not who I think is my best self because I think that my best self is somebody who is, um, learned from those experiences and learned that that's all bullshit <laughs> to say the least. So anyway, yeah, I just, I, I really liked your book. I thought it was, um, raw and you, you know, you might read it and get zero out of it that. I just tried to convey, which I didn't do a very good job of conveying, but, um, but you should read it or listen to it or whatever the fuck your happiness is. Um, and yeah, I want to, I almost want to like listen to it again to think about like she talks about she she's there's some really good hidden gems in there. Like there are a couple places where she talks about relationships and being in them and like how um gosh, I'm this is where this is where I really fail. I'm not very good at articulating those details. But she talked, she had some really good points about relationships. I'll have to like pull up the bookmarks later um, and talked about how, um, let's see, one of the things she talked about was, um, uh, thanks for staying with me while I think. Um, She's talking about meeting deeper guys and like, I mean, she didn't say it like that, but it, it felt to me like it was like meeting a guy who is cognizant of the fact that there are like privileges in the world and layers and, and recognize them and didn't give a shit about what other people thought. So like at some point, cause she kind of jumps around in her book, like in terms of years. So at some point in her life, she had met a dude and she was hanging out with him and and he had said something really um, kind of deep about something he was seeing on TV about how this woman had um, basically, like, she was, like, 70-plus years old. And um, he was basically commenting on her achievements versus um, making any connection with those achievements to her looks and his guy friends in the room had made a comment about how um she used to be hot like this was a famous actress that um back in the day you know pre-70s she was super hot and like that was what their comments were about and then this guy that she was seeing made this like kind of deeper more profound comment so I guess the long the short of the long or the long of the short I think you're getting <laughs> Is that, um, just, you know, when you meet someone like that who isn't that shallow thinker, and yeah, I just judged a lot of people <laughs> by saying that, um, but I feel like that is a narrow-minded way to think, and there are a lot of us have access to think more deeper, to think more deeply about, um, you know, looks and abilities and all those things. Uh, so I challenge you to do that. And I really appreciate that. This, you know, that was like one, like I'm talking about one little millionth of the book, like it was probably a one liner in there, but it was just interesting how she talked about that and how she, her kind of eyes were open. Like, Oh, she was so thrown off by this guy that was like, not even kind of in that realm of, seeing people in that way and um that's what I want to surround myself by and that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm trying to do is surround myself by people who are um deeper than that I guess and 
Um, yeah, just, I guess, think a little bit more into life. Not that I always do. I don't always do that. I don't always, um, you know, like think as deeply as I want to or I check out sooner than I want to or engage in behaviors that make me not always um, be my higher best self. But I want that more in my life. And so I think the more I engage with myself on that level, the more I put myself in situations where I'm engaging with other people on that level, the more that I'll have that in my life. So anyway, uh, that's my tirade for tonight. It's Thursday, and it's I think it's day 10. I am sorry that I don't know the number. Um, but I will upload this, and then um, tomorrow, which is Friday, I'll do my next day, which is technically from my time zone right now, 15 minutes. Um, but I won't be doing that in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to get a good night's sleep. Anyway, have a good night.